Airtable versus Asana versus Trello, which is the best project management software in 2021. So today we're going to talk about what project management software you should be using and what are the pros and cons of each of these softwares. So let's get started. First off, we have Airtable. Airtable is usually considered difficult by a lot of the project management users. And then we have Asana, which is a popular choice. And then we have Trello. Trello is considered one of the easier ones and more easy to manage. So let's get started. Let's get started off with our list view or grid view. So this is the list view or grid view in Airtable. This is the list view in Asana. And this is the list view in Trello. In all three of these, you can easily see the details. So as you can see here, you can just see who is the writer, the briefing, the due dates, and all those details are available in the list view. On Asana, if you just click on a task, you will get all the details. Everything will be over here. And on Trello, if you just click on a task, you will be able to see all of the details. So in terms of the list view or grid view, all three are the same. So moving on to the board view or the Kanban board view as we call it on Airtable, Asana, and Trello. So on Trello, basically the grid view and board view are the same thing. Air Trello does not have a specific grid view or list view. So it's the same as its grid view. This is also called the board view on Trello. And it's, it's the same, you just click on it and then you have all your details. On Asana, this is the board view and it's the same on Airtable. You just click on the tasks and you will get all the details like this. So it's the same. And after that, we have the calendar view, which is also pretty similar on all three of them. Let's change it to calendar view and over here. So if you just add any kind of task over here, let's just say sales. And you can expand the record and view all the details. Let's do that on Asana. You can add anything you want. Let's just add sales. And then you can click on it and it will give you all the details of that task. And on Trello, you're going to click over here. You're going to click on add. And then you can add anything on any specific date. And it's the same on all three. The only basic difference is basically on Trello that you will have to click on this add button on the left side of your screen and then you're going to add it while on Asana and while on Airtable you can just click on the date and then you can add your card or your task. From here on out the differences between the three start because now we're going to see a big difference. So if we go on form view on Airtable you can see here you can create your form and you know add all your details and submit it while on asana you will have to pay up to get this so on airtable this is completely free you can get the form view and add your forms and all the details for free although if you do want to customize it you will have to pay up for that but on asana even to just create a form view you will have to pay so that is a large difference and that really depends on the budgeting of your team and what kind of budget you, are, you guys are on while on Trello, that kind of view just doesn't exist. So if you're looking, if that is something that you must have in your project management software, uh, you should definitely go for Airtable because Trello does not provide this kind of view and Asana will make you pay for it. And it's a bit trickier to use compared to Airtable. So now after a calendar and timeline view, we're going to move on to custom fields. So this is where Airtable is ahead of Trello and Asana. So let's get started off with Trello. So on Trello, this is your workspace. And if you're going to drag your sh screen to the rightmost corner, you can add another list and you can make it about whatever. I'll just go with sales. And then you can add, you know, specific tasks within it for like week one or something like that, week two. And this is how you add new kind of cards or lists into Trello. And these are just grouped together. And it's not very efficient because 
you might have overlap in your sales or marketing or something like that and you might want to overlap the lists which is not very efficient to do on Trello. Then we have Asana and on Asana uh, you can see this kind of list view and then after Trello you can see on Airtable it is very efficient so you can group things according to their priority according to their status the requester the writer the due date like any other kind of different thing you can group it by using Airtable which is very efficient so right now we haven't grouped them at all we're just going to select on that group it by priority and then you have another group and then you can even create your own kind of priority so you can just add more stuff within a group and that's very easy to use while on Asana you're just gonna do that you're just gonna go in the list view and then you're gonna customize it and then you can add or remove your fields using this customizable button on the right hand side and you can add sections like this like add a new section name it marketing add a couple of tasks in it socials newspaper like this and then you have a new section called marketing but it has the same issue with trello if your marketing projects and your sales project or your it projects they have overlap you can't really optimize them and group them together efficiently using this but using airtable is very good in that regard so what is airtable really lacking so there's this one thing that Airtable is truly lacking and that is a dashboard. So if you're a project manager or you're the one that's leading several projects, you're working on big projects, you don't really have a dashboard to get like an overall view of your project. You can't really get a good kind of assessment if the project is on track, if everyone is meeting deadlines, if tasks have been completed. While on Asana, it does provide you with a dashboard. It has these charts and stuff, which I haven't put in any kind of data for it to create those charts, but they are available on Asana and also on Trello. It gives you a good overall idea of how your project is going, where it is headed, if it's going to be finished on its due date, and all those kinds of general things that you might need to write in a report or in an update if you're a project manager or if you're the project leader. So that is something that Airtable does not provide. So the last feature we're gonna discuss before we wrap this all up is My Tasks. So on Asana, you can see on the left side, we have a My Task option, and then you can click it and view all your tasks. They might be from any of your projects. They might be from any of the dashboards, and that's where you can see all of your projects that you have to do. On Airtable, this option is directly not available, but if you go in the grid view and apply a filter where the assignee is you or any specific person, then you can see all of your tasks and it basically functions as a my task table for you, which is very easy to do. It's not that difficult. So you can just do that and replace it as my tasks. And on Trello, you can click over here on the right side and go to your profile and visibility and click on cards and you can see all of your cards or tasks. So all three are very great project management softwares and they are used by many, many countries around the globe. And Asana has harvest time tracking, which is pretty helpful. So if you're already using that, definitely go for Asana because that's going to help you with a lot of your integrations. All three of these softwares have integrations and you can integrate your CRM system. And we have separate videos on that, on how to integrate your CRM system and transfer data here and there. And all three have APIs, so you don't have to worry about that. So Asana is the plain Jane here. Asana does the work that Trello does and Asana does the work that Airtable does, but it doesn't have that steep of a learning curve. Plus it does have a bunch of the plus points that Airtable does have with its complexities. Trello, however simple it may be, it might be a bit too simple if you're running a very detailed project and you need a whole lot of detail and your workflow won't be as streamlined if you don't use that detail. So you might want to opt for Asana, but if you're really, really, really particular about how things should be done and you're fine with having a bit of extra time setting everything up, doing all the initial hard work and making sure 
that the work is accurately distributed, uh, the data is put it. The data is organized correctly, then go for Airtable if you want that kind of specific accuracy. So in my opinion, go for Asana if you're a mid-range company, if you have some work but it's not too much. If you're someone that's just starting out and doesn't have that many projects, go for Trello. And if you're someone that really wants everything to be perfect, go for Airtable. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one.